Yo, I want to welcome all y'all to the best Madden 19 tips and trips channel where you will be able to dominate on offense, send the fast blitzes on defense, make your opponent rage quit and send you nasty messages or either beg for you to quit out the game. I also do custom schemes if you play regs, so hit your boy up, follow the link in the description to get all the ebooks and you will become an exclusive member. Welcome to the Clamp Squad. Yo, yo, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another Madden 19 fire tip video. Today I'm going to give you how to use post patch concepts, how to man up people. And it's just a couple key things in the game that a lot of y'all might not be aware of. So we're going to have the blitz all dialed up. If you want any kind of blitz setup, I got a full three play scheme out of the nickel, out of the big nickel over G and out of the three, four or the four, six bear. And you can mix that in on first, second and third down. The eBooks is down in the description. One key that you want to do if you are getting pressure on the opponent, he's going to start blocking running backs. He's going to start blocking tight ends. I got a trick for you. You come out, especially in these trip type situations where they fade the tight end and then they put somebody else in the drag. If you man up that running back and I'm going to show you in this video clip, you man up that running back and you don't have to move him all the way in like I'm doing. I'm just showing you. You man him up. If he don't go out on the route, that guy will go out and guard somebody else. And then behind the scenes, you can just man up other people. You got your blitz already set up. If you need help with fast blitzes, I got the fastest post patch blitzes ever. I'm telling you, out of three different formations. So it's not going to be no way for him to be able to adjust. He going to have to try to run the ball. He going to have to try to hit you with two and three yard routes. And that's okay because then you can utilize your QB spies and get an interception. Two, three yards, we willing to give that up. He's not going to hit you with a one play touchdown. He's not going to hit you with any deep bombs. Even with that Tyreek Hill, he's not going to get enough time in the pocket. And that's the whole reason behind this. But you can see, I got the running back manned up. And that guy is taking the tight end route. Only thing you will have to do if you need help with how to set this type of setup up. Make sure you let me know in the comment section or grab your ebook right now. It's the best ebooks online. Once you man him up, all you got to do is think about who else is not covered. So you can see my setups behind it. I'm going to show you the play visual on the screen. Cross man and I'm jumping back. Watch this. I'm going to go back to let that man come a little bit. I'm going to hook with that tight end and then I'm going to hover back down toward the middle. That's what you want to do. Once you man him up, you know that he is blocking his running back. When you see this in the game, you send in the blitz. The blitz is getting picked up because he's blocking the running back. If you man somebody up on that running back, he will go out and guard another route. I'm running down here and then coming back down to the middle of the field. You can put a spy in on that right end. Your blitz will still come in and I got a whole bunch of setups for all this. Man in that running back up. Look at him. The running back is not a threat. So that guy takes off down the field and all I do is when I hike when he hikes the ball, I go back a couple steps. He's not going to throw it to that tight end and then I'm looking down in front of me. What kind of what other kind of route is developing behind this tight end? Now, if you think that he might streak and high point past the tight end, you would want to take off faster. But just because I'm showing you this right now, because this is if somebody haven't seen it before, he won't know what to adjust. So you would want to take off faster or hover closer to where the tight end at. Make sure you go try this out. I guarantee it dominates. If you need any kind of blitzes post patch, I did a nickel formation. I did a big nickel formation. I did a four six bear. I got all them kind of set up. 